Hey, y'all. I'm going to do a Virgo Capricorn reading because of Amy and Josh. Janice, Joplin, Capricorn, Amy, Virgo. Honey, let me tell you something. One thing I don't want people to ex be expecting is just because I see I'm in the nation of Islam that I'm on some black power shit. Honey, no. I'm on my lights being on. That's the only motherfucking power I know. Bitch. It's called justice and injustice. That's it. Where I see injustice, I might speak up, I might not. The color of the motherfucker being treated unjustly, bitch, don't make me know, never mind. My people, that shit, bitch, no, honey. They their own people. Let them tell it, honey. Shit, don't come talking to them, can't shit. Who don't know that that's black, honey? Black power when it's convenient. My people when it's convenient for them to be my people. No. There's a motherfucker over here that the lady that owns this house paid this nigga to cut her grass. I said, he tell me. I don't even ask the nigga. I'm mad at my business. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to cut the grass. She paid me $25. I get to it today. Man, you days done went past. Motherfucker ain't did shit. So I just happened to see the nigga doing something, nothing that he said he was going to do. And I ain't asked you, bitch. I don't know you. Well, did she pay you to cut her grass? Why you ain't cutting this motherfucking shit? Oh, I'm going to get to it today. Still don't get to it. I go to the store, come back. This nigga looking at me with a devilish grin. I say, what's your name? Bitch, Pudding Tame, bitch. What's my name? Yeah, looking at me like he's slighting me because you got her for $25. Bitch, it ain't my money, first of all. Second of all, as long as the walkway ain't got no grass on it, bitch, I guess I'll be walking through a forest. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck about you. It's clear you don't give a fuck about nobody else but all these motherfucking cars you fake fixing, nigga. Fuck out of here. That's niggas. And you will go into business with these kind of motherfuckers just because they're good at something, but not really. Clearly not keeping their word. And that's the first strike to not go into business with a bum that happened to know something about a carburetor. Like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. With that shit. Ghetto ain't full of, sh full of shit. All oh, motherfuckers, pump fakers, liars, swindlers of each other. Just back and forth. Then I go to the family dollar. A little boy just throws some shit. Like, he's throwing this shit out of the window for me to say, why'd you throw that out that window? These little children, something else, they ain't done by a long shot. They can see you seeing them and shit. Motherfucker like, don't like a motherfucker that little. Let me do this to see if she say something. I'm not going to see a motherfucking thing, little man, ma'am. You going to be found doing what your fathers was doing until the white man gets some balls again, kind of shit, and come shut this raggedy shit down. I'm telling you, they be knowing what the fuck they be doing. They be just as evil as their motherfucking fathers. Young with the shit. Like, for real. I don't give a fuck. Throw whatever out the window, bitch. I ain't picking it up. And pull it out that bitch straight like this. I don't give a fuck. Good luck, man, man. Fuck, I give a fuck, fuck. The hood been done. Been done. You don't let nobody tell you nothing different. It's dead candy shit. The motherfucker act like they're being charitable to me. Let me stay in a motherfucking cesspool of pedophiles and swindlers and rapists and crackheads. I don't even see no dope boys, candy shit. I'm like, y'all getting that shit from somewhere else, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga bringing that shit from the suburbs. Yeah, that shit, cause I don't see the nigga selling dope no more. Honey, nowhere, nowhere. Everybody asking for change and crack. 
It's true. The fuck? What fuck is trying to maintain their lifestyle? Here come crack again. Kind of shit. Ain't shit going on in this bitch. Not even the rent, baby. Let me tell you something. It's a hot fucking mess. Hot pile of bullshit. <laughs> Ain't me a job slap. Shit. This is gonna be some shit. Honey, nothingness. Honey, nothingness, honey. If I was the white man, shit, bitch, I would be coming through this bitch, honey, working on the motherfucker house that still live in the bitch. They be saying, who is you, honey? Don't worry about it. We're tearing shit down. Just bulldozing, honey. Where is the devil white man at, honey? Let me tell you, yes, the white man is the devil kind of shit. Where is he at? Is he turning into Satan or Lucifer yet? We need, we are in need of him. Get yeah, shit. Like, for real. This new age white man, like, this is not the time to go, Uncle John Lennon. No. The fuck? Burden bag. You better get unburdened and come right out on this motherfucker. They're the only thing they respect. But some reason. I'm trying to tell you, then it'd be a whole burden because it's so much work to be done, but you keep letting it go on. Just sitting back. This on the devil card. Just sitting back, letting this shit go on. If it's your world, take control of the motherfucker. If God still got you with dominion, you better keep dominating, motherfucker. The fuck? Niggas older than your ass. They not about to do shit. Get a plaza and call it Black Wall Street. Come on, man. Best we got. If we was honest. Right. And that is everybody. Can't be cheap. Like, man, if you don't take authority, what the fuck kind of shit? I talk to my son, ask my son, what the fuck, where the fuck is you at kind of shit? These motherfucker probably trying to find a new address. Then I said, where the baby at? Because they, these fake foster people, they got another baby because the foster care ran out of money so get another one so they can make up for the money they lost kind of shit oh she went with an overnight stay with her mom i said wasn't i supposed to get an overnight stay before they come and kick me out of the place that i was in all this shit is tied together how the fuck she get one and you was there damn near a year before she got there because they don't want her ass. And they don't want you either. They're trying to figure out how the fuck they about to get out of this pickle that they in kind of shit. He can't see their address. He don't know. He's so docile. I had to start burning sage because of the weird energy on the Zoom meeting. Like, he like, Ma, you will pull up. Pull up. Do I got a car? And what bitch gonna stop me? Kind of shit. My mother energy. Be hollering right on the chariot card. Will I pull up? Bitch, the sheriff's better come on and walk this way with my motherfucking ass. Can of shit? They see it? Sit back just like this on the Zoom. But ain't doing shit. Like, excuse me? You Benedict Arnold's kind of shit? Thought you were protecting and serving the fuck now oh i'm sick too kind of shit like man i guess i do have to come get you i mean like this fighting over your child what do you think he got bitch or she got for some of y'all that's dealing with this old monkey shit Death right on my mother. It be my mother, I'm telling you. Be on top of they ass like the sun. Shining it bright on they motherfucking ass, bitch. I ain't talking diamonds. I'm talking about sun, bitch. The one that used to shine, bitch. Well, they said I couldn't ride my bike to the show. And I know this ain't the daddy on here, bitch. Heartbreak, bitch. Shut up. It gotta be Joe Biden, because it definitely can't be 
no bitch ass baby daddy that got him caught up in your trash week, nigga. He can't go. They can't take him. It's too far. A kidnapper trying to keep a kidnapped child from getting kidnapped. How far is it? Oh, do you go down here? It's a convenience store. You gotta go a little further down, then bust a left or some shit. Know exactly where it's at. If he got a bike and you in the suburbs, it's you so much better, bitch. Why the fuck can't he ride his bike? He a boy. Why he gotta sit up in the house? He know where the fuck it's at. If it's a suburb and y'all got y'all little Coven's all under control. Don't try to act like you extra parenting when that's not the case. But nobody can take him right up the street to his friend's house. And he can't ride his bike. Okay, that's sounding like kind of kidnappish. Not like you care. So, but, oh, I guess it's kind of far. Not if you can tell me where the fuck is at. It ain't too far if you know the location. You can get on your bike. You wouldn't have never asked to get on your bike and go. If you didn't think you could go ahead and handle it, you got enough goddamn energy. You a boy. Motherfuckers got you kidnapped. Hung up. Kind of shit. Well, can you call me? Why you ain't calling my phone on the days that you don't talk to me on Friday? Since it's some consistency again kind of shit. It, consistency happens in chunks with these motherfuckers. They are saying you fall off because they doing shit for you to get dismantled and disabled and instable and all this other shit. I don't know. This how my baby talking. Like everything cool. And this fat bitch, Gladys, why don't you go to fuck the hell, bitch? Quit viewing. It's over. I don't know you. Or none of the niggas working with you, bitch. Hold on to your purse. Can of shit. Well, like they charitable. Like they're doing you a favor. You're not doing me a favor. You don't know how my household is run. You don't know shit about me. Clearly, it's the Virgos and Capricorns going through this shit. If you cross-watching, baby, maybe you going through it. Maybe you know somebody. But hello, somebody. Is anybody woke out there kind of shit? The fuck you ain't doing me no motherfucking favors, bitch. You don't know how my household run. You don't know my budget. You don't know shit. And if a motherfucker ain't calling you every five minutes for some money, how do you know they ain't got none, bitch? Don't assume nothing. You're not going to run my life from Astrobula the fuck for real they know donald trump will kill these motherfuckers as he should with a lot standing up give it a round of applause that one motherfucker had some balls this a law looking at trump wow one person got balls that's good can't okay, see the fuck evil ass motherfuckers and don't think God is real. I'm going to try to dump this in reverse. They really don't respect judges, magistrates, police, sheriff, any law enforcement. You a piece of shit to these moolies. Honey, let me tell you. Take the hostile takeover is an understatement when it comes to these motherfuckers needing money and seeing children as they ticket kind of shit. Like everything is fucking NFL and NBA. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no love. Fuck it with these kids' minds. And they gotta be like this in the house. This how he looking. Can't go outside. That's kidnapping. What you mean you can't ride your bike? What you mean? They said. What you mean? And I'm looking at them. You look sick. You look like you ain't eating. You depressed. All that. My son, if you raise a happy-ass child and somebody comes and takes him and puts him in some weird-ass environment, all he knows is happy. He's going to keep that same energy, especially a Libra child. You got to know your children, especially if they're in this type of situation. Don't think everything cool just because they acting like it is. No, maybe they was just raised in a healthy environment and they don't know how to feel their feelings of sadness because they really ain't grow up around no sad shit. Even staying here where he used to come most of the time for people to watch him that was so-called family, I undid anything that I thought would have been done so he maintained his positive vibes. 
and will change the dynamic over here sometime and take them up a notch on the positive vibe side until they start being a drag and he feeling some type of way. Me being a mother, I'm going to feel that. I'm going to either come get him or my mother going to come get somebody going to come get him. If he want to go with somebody else, he going to speak up about, oh, okay, I don't want to be over here because it's freedom. It ain't no motherfucking hostage situation where you can't even call me on the phone. And then you conveniently forget to do it. That's witchcraft. You tampering with a child's mind. You doing bullshit, bitch. And it's sitting there like he's there. Scared the shit. He like this, y'all. Docile as fuck. This the fake ass foster bitch that I don't like. And the fake ass social worker that I don't like. Like you're in charge of my son. Where are you getting this from, bitch? Not God. You ain't even getting that from the motherfucking governor, senator, or whoever over child protective services, bitch. You ain't getting that from the state of Ohio. You pulling that out your weird ass brain, bitch. You're an illusionist that got into some shit very wrong kind of shit. You catch a tower, bitch. Like they got it. Like I'm telling you, these motherfuckers, I'm telling y'all, it's like covens of witches. It's like bitches that was in it, fraternities, sororities, any groups, okay? We in Aquarius age that deals with large networks, groups of motherfuckers. You got social workers that was in the group that may be tied to a sorority or a fraternity. You got motherfuckers that's disorganized in their crime, but bitch, it's some money on the wood making the bet go good and I won't end. That's just a nigga, no matter their color kind of shit. They smell money. We can call them the money groups. You got these fake ass foster people. That's a whole nother group on some type of list waiting for a child that they can manipulate because they ain't manipulated. They don't want problematic children. Oh, no. Unless they're a newborn where they can kind of mold them to how they want them with their sick ass. Next thing you know, they give him massages because he going to say, yeah, I seen a crime show where... A 13-year-old uh, girl, it was 13, 14 year old they was kidnapped, basically, and they turned them into masseuse, so they would get a man a massage. I said, you ain't over there giving nobody no massage. No, all I get massages to is you, ma. I, honey, listen, don't get to touching no grown motherfuckers, and it's not your people. I won't give a fuck. Why are you bringing up that show and that little scenario kind of shit? And I know been nobody over in this motherfucker been not been on no weird shit like that. Yeah, I'm very defensive. You got to be defensive in the ghetto. In the suburbs, stay on offense. In the ghetto nowadays, defense like a motherfucker. That's why they want to put them all in sports and shit. Ain't nobody dumb. Yeah, blessing in disguise. So you thought, bitch. All these fake-ass fosters. Ooh, we got us one kind of shit. And it's all relative to the Trump elections. The elections, dealing with Trump, that, that I'm trying to tell you, they don't give a fuck about the justice system. Why should I? They don't. Why do you think I should care? If anything, I'm going to get on your motherfucking ass to show you how much of a joke you have become. Can this shit? Because clearly ain't nobody telling you niggas. Now it's nine of pentacles. Ain't enough money in the world to give mothers for the time that they lost raising their children. Like, do you know what a real mother consists of? Are you one? Okay, can you be a uh, 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 dual natured or can you fucking be uh, bilingual or something? Can you do something more than just your job? I'm just saying, just because you're a judge, that don't mean you ain't a mother. Okay, do you know what a mother entails? Do you give a fuck? Okay? If somebody was to take your child, run them back to you, and then pay you because they fucked up, would the money matter, or would you be so relieved and at peace because your child is now back in your custody or care? Hello? The fuck it, I took this money shit. This shit is disgusting, man. I'm telling you, this shit is disgusting. Seeing the child as a blessing, but the child ain't the blessing. They see money. They see a pinnacle. Bitch, where's my son at, bitch? 
the one I had, the one I molded and shaped, bitch. Because that ain't it that I'm looking at. So now I got to deal with the psychological damage they've done. That they'll say, we did good to the court system. And the court system's view of done good is materialism. But want their mothers to go get mental evaluation because they don't live in the most spiffiest house. Bitch, what? Y'all motherfuckers is fucked up on the materialism in America, bitch. This on the nine of pentacles, everything is a fight and a competition for pentacles, not your soul, not your character, not your integrity, not even what the fuck you gonna have to face once you lay it down and everybody got to face death. I don't give a fuck who you think you is. That's not on your mind. Just pentacles. That's weird. And I'm an earth sign. Hello, Virgo Capricorns. What the fuck? Some of these hoes wanted to be mothers taken. I'm telling y'all, even some of these white hoes was working with judges and magistrates to take babies from poor white parents. I seen it with my own two eyes. And the niggas, social workers, that was cool with these type of bitches witches, wishing, witching upon a star kind of shit. Not even wishing now. Witching upon a star to get a baby because they ain't got no company. Bitch, the dog ain't enough. Is his water bowl good, bitch? Is the full stock, bitch? You just want more and more. Gotta be starting something. You ain't no better because you in a better zip code. These social workers, see, bitches might as well pull out their titties and start acting like they was mammies. That's how much these black social worker bitches was sucking on their nipples just to be close to you, a white girl that got money and lives in a nice house. I'm so glad to come to your house when it's time for a visit so that I can rub elbows with that, which I never would have got to do being a social worker in a fucking county full of degenerates. Even though I'm one paycheck away from goddamn homeless shelter kind of hoes. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. You don't have to like me. I wouldn't know you if you didn't come get my son without my permission or God's, bitch. Fuck the state. The fuck? Nobody told you. Exactly. It just come right up on the pinnacles. Judging houses. This is how they say whether or not you're a good foster. Oh, this is a nice house. Oh, yeah, you like this little baby? This motherfucker could be one of the nastiest motherfuckers, and his wife could be one of the stankiest bitches in the world. But because they got two cars that's clean, pulled in a driveway that don't need no asphalt replacement, and they got nice decor, this is good. Like, bitch, why don't you do the psychological evaluations that you should do on the parents you think you about to come take them from? And why don't you do psychological eval even heavier than that when you're giving permanent custody away to somebody that's not the original parent, bitch? Kind of shit y'all running. Home and family services is what this shit should be called. Cause these motherfuckers think it's the home and garden show in order to qualify to have somebody's child's mind in a fucking psychopath's fucking house kind of shit. Ooh, this is nice. The Bates Motel. Psychos. Kind of shit. The star. And both me and my son do have to heal from this. If y'all going through this shit, anything dealing with your child, even if you got your child, you don't have your child once they out of your hands. In the school, in the daycare, you really don't. These motherfuckers out here will inject anything in your child. And if you're not keeping up with what they're injecting, motherfucker, you don't know what you're going to end up with. I don't give a fuck about how much money you got. It's real life. Your child could be in the best of school. And they could be in class sitting next to a motherfucking demon. 
that's injecting all day and they don't say shit and you ain't recognizing it because you think they cool because you pay this high ass tuition. I told my mother to take me out of a fucking Catholic school that was charging her plenty money. Tuition. When the teachers are racist and it's a Catholic school and the students are starting to put swastikas on the fucking lockers. Get me the fuck out of here and send me back to the hood. Keep your money. Maybe you can do something with that for yourself for a change, ma. Kind of shit. The fuck? I don't know how to defend myself, but I'd rather defend myself if I'm going for hair and it's cheaper. I'd rather defend myself against a nigga than a motherfucking white boy or a white bitch that may land me in a whole nother kind of situation because they think they better kind of shit. This is what was going on. When I was in high school, ninth grade, I'm 44 years old. You know how long I've been out of school? Now this me with niggas. I don't give a fuck because you don't. Come asking me about no am I down. Bitch, yeah. Ain't you, bitch, how long? What the fuck? I'm not down with getting my ass whipped just because of the color of my skin. Hang on with you people a little while longer. You got me fucked up. I see shit for what it is. Bitch, this ain't no motherfucker. I ain't Martin Luther King. He had the dream. And look at it still. And got him up out of here before he could even reach 40. Care. Bitch, you want somebody else to do your work. You want somebody to empathize and sympathize where they should not. You want our skin to remain our sin. Together. Like, no. Get the fuck off of me. Capricorns really have a problem. Y'all do. Y'all have a problem letting go. It's like, y'all will be... Y'all be stuck on that family shit. And you could be, a motherfucker could tell a Capricorn, listen, you are in a house full of Texas Chainsaw Massacre killers. You need to get the fuck out of here. As long as they know they got another side to that family, okay, that could be the mama side. They're going to go over to the daddy side and see what the family here for over there. Same shit, not what you about to do. You will have to literally do like some Mr. shit, hit their motherfucking hands like he did Natty's to get her the fuck away from Sealy kind of shit. They hate you. They're not going to do nothing with you but rearrange you. But you want to hold on because that's your family. And you fear going out in the world by yourself and disconnecting from that which really ain't your family. They don't give a fuck about you. They could be. Listen. All the motherfucking bitch, go wherever you need to go to see. Okay. A tree. Okay. So I am related to these motherfuckers. Yeah, you is. But families in. Family, fuck families, that end on lies. Family ends with I-L-Y, I love you. If they ain't loving you, get up from the table. I don't care what their color is. If they're not serving love, get the fuck up. You're not going to keep feeding me shit, telling me I got to eat it because you're black and I'm black and you're going to eat shit and die. Together we're going. No the fuck we ain't, bitch. I don't know when your death day is, bitch. If we happen to die together, we definitely won't be going to the same places, bitch. Depending on what we did. If we did the same dumb shit, then maybe. I just met you, motherfucker. Motherfucker always got a headache two cent in it. Like, shut up. And feel the need to be able to say something because they're a black. Bitch, no. It take a little bit more than that. You niggas love talk about that barbecue shit. It take more than that to get to my barbecue, bitch. For real. Yeah, you can pull out like a motherfucker. You're not invited. Don't give a fuck what color you is. If you coming on trash and bullshit, you're not invited. I don't care what color you are. And I don't give a fuck what good joke you said or what chicken George dance you did. That ain't going to get you in either. The fuck? 
And then they look at you like, ooh, she's a dark witch. No, you're projecting. You are, darky. Turn in. Scared of your shadow. Witches. And it's all they got. You can sleep all you want. Oh, bitch. You can think, oh, I took, oh, I finally got her. I put her out of my house. Bitch, it ain't mine. You ain't accomplished shit, bitch. The fuck? God said it's all his and the fullness thereof. That means when I step on your rocks outside, them ain't yours, bitch. Neither is the house, to be honest, kind of shit. You ain't putting me nowhere but back outside what God owns anyway, bitch. The fuck you? You ain't got nothing to say about my situation or nothing to go on. Gladys, you're a aunt. Stay in the aunt's place. You're not my mother. If you did know your sister, she don't like that shit. She like raising her children. She don't like people interjecting and injecting their opinions in her children's lives. I'm pretty sure you got checked a couple of times about it, bitch. You ain't the hardest old bitch in the room. Since you want to keep watching and acting like you're not. And for those that got nosy ass family members, if you read tarot or got a platform, these motherfuckers be watching because it's coming right on the page of swords, but acting like they ain't watching shit. Be quick to go to the house. The bitch just hitting the notification bell to see if you still homeless. If they still fucked you up good enough. If they magic still working, you a sick person. Ain't nothing else. I mean... Sticks and stones, bitch. Break bones, bitch. Keep on here. All three of you hoes. I don't give a fuck, okay? Is it clear enough for you? Can you see me? Can you see me, bitch? The fuck? Right. Yeah, close your eyes when it comes to my little situation, bitch, because another bitch in hell ain't going to block some shit. That I now know you were blocking. Who the fuck thinks like that? Just going through life. Okay, this motherfucker is oh, another one bites the dust kind of situation. Not that a bitch is actually perpetuating you not being able to make union. Like, no. This is new information. And you're caught like a motherfucker. Red-handed. Y'all gonna come into a love situation faster than the fuck y'all think because y'all been waiting for so long. Mm-hmm. Two fiery motherfuckers. They don't want that to come together, honey, because y'all gonna be kicking ass and taking motherfucking names and homelessness ain't never gonna be a problem. Kind of shit. You get out of here, kind of shit. Well, they're gonna have you in some old weak ass position so they can act like Lord over you kind of shit. I don't know. It may be the Jesus obsession calling him Lord and Savior. Yeah, and they feel like they're the Lord and Savior's kind of shit. But then end up feeling bad for what they do to you because you ain't did shit to these people, Virgo Capricorn. Y'all ain't did shit. That was Janice Doblin problem as a Capricorn. Kept going back to her hometown. They was dogging her. Girl, if you don't get out that memory and nostalgia and quit trying to prove to them people that you is special, the world thinks so. Fuck that little town kind of shit. The fuck? And look what the little town did for you. Right. In reverse like a motherfucker. Want to take all your power away, but you don't even know they're doing what they're doing. And some of y'all didn't have no arts with these people. Since y'all was little children, these is aunts in y'all family, sisters, whatever the case. When I say I pick up y'all like me, ain't backbite people, ain't talk about people. If you could help them, you helped them. If you, even if it took you out your way, just to make sure because it was older than you kind of situation, these hoes ain't shit. And Stelly be looking to see if what they doing to you is working. Like, how do you think you're supposed to be forgiven for that? Because I didn't know, now that I know, I'm supposed to forgive you because a lot of time, well, you didn't know the whole time. Now that you know, can't you just forgive me? So you can do it again, bitch? Come on now, honey. <laughs> Knight of Swords. And you're going to end up with somebody that's honest. Hella honest. Somebody y'all can bail with. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody got two wands, somebody got three. They ready to keep building, but they need a mate. Because that's how God designed it. For some people, he can't do it without a mate. They know that. Know yourself, then you won't be feeling the way because, you know. And that's why a lot of these men is armored up like this. So damn defensive because women are sick when it comes to materialism. And they can't keep up with the demands that she got because it's something internal that's going on. That used to happen when I used to do hair, man. Do you know? I used to tell people, don't book no more. Get the fuck out. You can call me rude. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. But one thing you ain't going to do, Miss Ma'am, is make me work overtime for a psychological problem. It's not your bangs, Miss Ma'am. You got this color last week, Miss Ma'am, and you tried this same shit. Mm-mm. You, it's not your bangs, bitch. It's something going on in the bang region, which is your head, bitch. Inside, mind problems, bitch. It ain't got nothing to do with your bangs. And this shit, you want to keep on? Okay, don't come back, bitch. Your money ain't no good here. Same thing men going through. Bam, everything, they cool for a minute, then they back crying and whining, you gotta go back to the store, get some old shit, like, man, I know the fuck you lying, especially if you a, a fire sign energy, can't nobody keep up with that shit, like a child, gotta get them something in order for them to go to sleep, can't kind of shit, bitch, I know you lying, mm-hmm, yeah, they magicians, that's all they is. It just flew out straight like this. Him again with the defense mechanisms up. This bitch crying needs some more shit. Now, you know, the Balenciaga ain't in no more. She want North Face now. The Queen of Wands, Energy in Reverse, and the Magicians. Trick no good. And make it hard for women that ain't on none of that trash. Just normal. I'm just a normal woman. I don't give a fuck if I read every tarot deck made the man, bitch. Normal. Okay? Nah, they fuck, fuck the shit up for you. Now you gotta work on patience. You gotta, same shit I gotta do with my son when I get him back. To the psychological damage. It really is. And you do have to have patience. I don't give a fuck if he a grown man. I don't give a fuck if he got property. I don't give a fuck about his beard or his mustache. I don't give a fuck if he hung like a horse, bitch. I don't give a fuck if he can sling a motherfucking sledgehammer, bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck if his bank account got however many O's behind the number, bitch. At the end of the day, psychological has absolutely nothing. The mind has nothing to do with the soul. The soul has nothing to do with the body, yet... You need them all to run cohesively to be a whole human being. But sometimes one don't have nothing to do with the other. But a motherfucker be making you think that it do. No the fuck it don't, bitch. Your bangs ain't got nothing to do with your psychological problems. Your bangs is super straight and your hair is cute because you liked it, you know. But now it's, I saw this little problem stirring up. Last hair appointment kind of shit. It's bullshit. And yes, when you're dealing with a man, you're going to have to help him unpack. Whatever it is that kept him like this all the time. The more likely with a bitch doing some form of moon magic to get a motherfucker with some money. And then he don't put two and two together because he's so far stupid in spell work and soul ties. He don't put two and two together that only what makes her happy is the money, not him per se. You know when somebody fake moaning, quit playing with me. Okay, all that extra shit. Listen to that song by LL. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. I represent Queen. She was raised out in Brooklyn. It's another song, Jodeci. She be, uh, uh, like, I have a bitch can do that on wax. Then clearly she could do that in the bedroom getting banged. And it ain't like that. Don't you know that as a man? Like, girl, you just faking, faking. Come on, somebody. Oh, you only happy when I bring a boatload of shit in the house. Material that lasts for a second. It's like a child. They gotta find something else. Then you get to the point as a parent, you just stepping on Legos, fucking your foot up on the toys that they ain't playing with. They somewhere playing with pots and pans. They like shit. I'm about to quit paying for this shit. You playing with boxes and shit, cardboard shit don't cost nothing. You popping the bubbles on my motherfucking Amazon package and shit. And I just bought this 
expensive ass toy. Never satisfied. Can't get enough. So when you get a man, yo man, you know, not to be possessive, but it's just for, you know, English language ain't that flexible. But when you get a mate, be prepared. They dealing with some shit. Dealing with these materialistic, junky ass, gold digging ass bitches. Witches. Moon witches. What did it say? Witching upon a star and a moon. She witching upon that star. Uh-oh, she ain't wishing no more, girl. She witching upon that bitch. She witching upon the moon, too. Kind of shit. What? You what? No, I ain't. When you say kill these type of motherfuckers, you really a Buddha. Who just ain't a bitch. Scary as fuck. It's inhumane to leave people like this and they don't know how to get out of it. The humane thing to do is to lay them to rest. It's true. Whether it's a nigga or a bitch. They become treacherous. Your opposition. Be careful when driving. That's why you got to be a defensive driver for motherfuckers like this. It's in the car, but really ain't in the car. And stay trying to hinder you. Every, th every little step you take, they will be there, Kim. Okay, come on. That's why I take off in here no more. Can't even go bowling. Now, if somebody would have laid the motherfucker to rest before they laid him to rest, then we wouldn't have this problem talking about RIP takeoff, would we? Get the fuck out of here. That's all they do. It's sitting that that's what they mind is comprised of maliciousness, treachery, payback, vengeance. But tell people double minded in all their ways to get on the phone and tell somebody uh, uh, the vengeance is with, with God because they don't want you to get hit today as the ones doing some shit. And the vengeance going to be on you to whip their motherfucking ass or put them in a shallow grave. So they double fork tongue, double minded in all their ways, ass motherfuckers. You can't trust nothing to come out their mouth. That's why I ain't never double dutched as a kid. As soon as the double ropes came out, I got the motherfucking walking, bitch. Single rope only, bitch. I ain't no in and out, in and out, no. I need to stay with one riff. Up, down, up, down, bitch. Oh, in, out, in, out. Nana material. They act like the motherfucker gonna be like this, like that. Like if you don't have your child, they feel like you like this. When a mother got her child and a, the motherfucker, listen, when a mother got her child and the child is somewhere else, she ain't like this. Maybe for a minute, about uh, 18 hours into them being gone. I miss my baby. Honey, shit. Real mothers, can I get an amen? Wherever you at, you ain't got to call the babysitter and say it. That's why bitches be talking too much. Oh, he over here. Well, if she at work, bitch. Or if she needed a break and you knew it and you act like you was cool with keeping them, don't say shit about she not calling, bitch. You don't know what she going through. She just not getting on the phone telling you she missed them. And when she do call out, you tell girl, we calling here. They all right. These these double tongue, fork tongue, double minded hoes that y'all let watch y'all children injecting more bullshit into them like they a goddamn turkey on Thanksgiving. Get it out, mama. Can't it, shit. The fuck? You're gonna put your mental illness in my son and I did all the work while he was in utero and when he came out. Bitch, you gotta be out your motherfucking marbles, whoever the fuck you is. All you niggas. That's why I didn't want no boy. That's why I cried. Now he see why. What they do to black boys. Look at you like a buck. You good for fucking throwing a ball and goddamn laughing when ain't shit funny and being nothing by the age of 30 kind of shit. No matter the work your mama did, then your mama get blamed for not doing her job because she got a family full of motherfuckers that don't do nothing but sell you down the river like we in the days of Moses kind of shit. I see what the fuck going on here. I ain't blind at all, bitch. Where the ditches at? 
fuck? Capricorn men, honey, women that had to be men because single mother shit be like that kind of shit. Do you feel me kind of shit? These hoes is ice queens. All they want is money. I get some money. Everything fine long as I can get, you know, some money. Kind of shit. And Stelly be warring against people that ain't doing shit to them. Stelly be acting like they with you, but acting like a straight up devil. And you be seeing it, but you be in a situation. That's what white people don't understand. Black people that really handle their business don't got time for no motherfucking bullshit. We don't have a support system. Quit asking us who can we call to help us pay this bill. Quit asking us who do we got that we can give our child to. Bitch, when we told you nobody, that's just what the fuck we meant. We don't give a fuck what number you got, what address you got, what the fuck you see we related to, bitch. We told you it's just us, bitch. And we was doing just fine before you brought your motherfucking ass dipping in business that ain't yours, bitch. The only business is yours is if I'm doing some type of welfare fraud or bullshit with your system. But then ain't none of that going on, bitch. It's your workers, bitch. Demi urge ass bitches. Why don't y'all do a psyche valve before you put a bitch over children and quit putting the shit on the radio like you hiring that Chick fil A when they need the heart to damn near start doing the motherfuckers? To make sure a bitch ain't boo booing on the fries kind of shit. I'm insane. I don't think so, bitch. My son didn't even know what the word meant. The fuck? <laughs> the world must agree that ain't an ice queen addicted to fucking money. The charitable ones. Whether you got it or not, you mean it, can it shit? Ain't no strings on it, can it shit? Gonna shoot you out the sky as soon as you fucking get going, can it shit? This is what they did to single mothers. That was empress mothers, not devils. Handling your business by yourself. You was your child support system. As long as they saw you at the game. As long as they saw you at the play. As long as you pulled up in that motherfucking parking lot when it was time to get out of school. They were straight. Who the fuck came minding your business? Fools. That's who. Stirring up. Now the same motherfuckers reporting you need to hang up the phone. Call them back on their own self. About how they do their own kids. These is hypocrites. Hands off like a motherfucker. Me. My child. Bitch. And ain't nobody getting well on this case until you free my nigga Jaja Kennedy. Bitch. The lovers to come up with a bad idea. Ooh, oh, isn't it? They married. Ooh, yes. They can get in there. They doing way better than her. She by herself. Then they motherfucking psychologically mad fuck their own self. They feel like they doing you a favor. So these motherfuckers will sit back and see, oh, she done moved here now. Oh, okay, she's struggling. Anything you say that's attached to struggle, now it's their duty to put these motherfuckers in a house that they think because they got two parents and some nice furniture. Can't kind of shit. Like, excuse me? Who told you to evaluate my life to place my son with people that I don't know and I don't know you're evaluating my life? Who the fuck are you, helmet head quick weave? Who are you, hoes? Scullies? Who are you, crazy bald heads? Watching your platform, impeding on your progress, impeding on your progress, protect your platform, envious motherfuckers, competitors, all this shit, within your family, same bitches that give you a hug, just like this, selling your motherfucking ass out, this is how the, the, the white women that got the bad idea of witching upon the star for a child, even though they have pets that they barely take care of, this is how they hugging black social workers, and they just hand in hand, on some Martin Luther King shit, but just to make that, they trick in their mind. Deceptive intelligence is what Minister Farrakhan calls it. Like they're doing you a favor, but people are getting paid and you're not getting nothing. And guess what they'll say? Oh, 
the child was the reason why she was getting more money when she was doing good anyway. Now the child saying that bitch, I wasn't pregnant my whole life. Hello, somebody who was getting money before they had children and more of it. Who broke? Cause all you do is spend your money on your child. Okay, bitch. It's a new sheriff in town and it's called a baby. How do you not know? You know, like, come on. But these hoes has been scamming, been doing shit, been in these little groups, special interest groups. Oh, my sister in that fraternity sorority or whatever the fuck. I guess it's some sisters in fraternities now, whatever. But I'm just saying. It could be a fake foster. That's in the same goddamn sorority as a social worker. This is how they do it. You know, you ain't been to college. You don't know that shit. Maybe you was on your way before they come fucking with you, can shit. With they non-magical, insane asses. You think your marriage gonna stay? Do you know who you got your hands on, bitch? Not just my son. It's a whole lot of children. You shouldn't have never thought about putting your motherfucking hands on, bitch. You don't know what the fuck they got to contribute. Hands off, insanity. And you got to keep telling them that. That's how you know. Some ain't right. Fuck your justice system. We're going to keep this going. Yeah, we here on talking, blah, 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 kind of shit. That's when you're getting over into dementia. Real talk. God going to turn your ass upside down. I'm trying to tell you. You should not have took the risk, bitch. No way, Jose. And if it's any Virgos or Capricorns that took the risk on some shit like that, you a dumb bitch. Man or woman. For real. The wild unknown. They got a nice hut, so I guess they safe can and shit. What? It's coming right up on the four of pen. I mean, four of wands. All about money. Now they hesitate to help the children. They don't know what to do with them. You know? Now what the fuck these motherfuckers is doing with children, man? You not there? You don't know. And it can appear like this in the front of a social worker, but if the bitch don't scratch and sniff, bitch, that ain't shit for window dressing. Anybody can put that together. Bitch popped up on me one day and I was cooking and jobs at the table doing hard work. This is how long they've been sending people for me, different locations. Social workers coming to get my baby out the bed. Who is it? Who? Who? Because I'm talking. Yeah. But yeah, coming to get my child out the bed. Social workers. Any city I lived in, social workers coming to get my baby out the bed. I'm working. This bitch just pop up. But she see it wasn't shit, so she left it alone. That's a common sense having social worker. I'm coming in here. This ain't no act. I'm just on some pop up shit. She cooking. He has a table doing his homework. This is what they do. She left it alone. This time, what no motherfucker, ain't no investigation. Ain't shit. They been chasing me down like a dog. Who is connected to this baby daddy nigga? And whoever bought this nigga shit that's calling theyself family, ain't no family of mine. And that's just what it is. Some of y'all going through this same monkey motherfucking shit. Is it fair? No. Do you got to stand up for your rights to stay alive? Absolutely. Regardless to home or what, you better. Because God called the motherfuckers to the carpet today, but everybody that want to sit and pray to him like he ain't real. Oh, he's very real. And he's making his presence very known to whoever the fuck want to run up just to get done up kind of shit. You're not in control of your own bowels. How the fuck you think you're going to be controlled over whatever the fuck these motherfuckers think they got contrived? Some shells. No, shells. Shells. That's it. 
Gang, pineapple. King of Pentacles. Happen to be a Capricorn. Hold on, y'all, while I check this food. Because I might be burning my shit. Because I'm burning up right now with all this shit going on. Why I smoke weed, bitch? Because I can and it's legal. shit about those damn why I do this and why I do that. Well, don't nothing be for, they want you to be not free. They want to say you smoke weed, okay, and who don't, bitch? Why don't you get you something so you can calm the fuck down and quit doing all this bullshit and want to feed off a of religion in order to motherfucking keep your sanity. Bitch, the Bible ain't working for you no more. You double-minded in all your ways. Now you crisscross up. And Lord forbid you grab the Holy Quran. You really in a, honey, let me tell you something. Stay out of the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, the Kabbalah. Put them down. Get a spliff and stay with the riff, bitch, and see how it come out. Hypocrites be doing everything. Oh, you scratched your booty, but they scratched their dick. Oh, you dug up your nose, but they dug up their ass. Oh, you touched your titty, but they touched their foot. Bitch, how is it any of your concern? When you do this, how many fingers is pointing back at your motherfucking ass? Three? Because the thumb ain't really considered a finger, let this society tell it, but I'm just saying. Technically, bitch. More than what the fuck you pointing at me. Because if I scratch a little bit deeper, I ain't even got to scratch deep. I'm going to find the shit as soon as I see you. And I ain't looking for it because I ain't interested in judging people. It's unintelligent. You're not going to tell me as much dope is floated through this motherfucking country that I ain't never had nothing to say about except for no. Like Nancy said. You want some crack? No. Because I don't. And curiosity didn't kill plenty cats, squirrels, and everything else, bitch. No. But damn, that herb show smells nice. Can I get one? Can it shit? You're not going to condemn me because you sin differently and it ain't really even sin if you really were to put it on the scale of goddamn a century even compared to those that are here and those that are no longer here. If we just going into what a motherfucker did during this transitional period called life on earth kind of shit. You don't have, you have no merit. You are crazy. Kind of shit. What I need. A motherfucking shell from the stove that the Arabs gonna tell me 354 or two later. Bitch, in what world? Three dollars and fifty cents for a two liter of pop. Motherfucker, keep it in your cooler, bitch. Cause I ain't never. But I'm crazy for being resourceful. You goddamn right I need something from the store. A shell, bitch. Ain't no children here since everybody want to fake like they don't do shit in front of their kids. Who was you fucking last night? Kind of shit. And then they came in on your ass. Ain't that a child looking? Oh. Give me a fucking break. Man, come on, man. I mean, come on, man. It ain't gonna get no really to fucking me. And that's on me, baby.
pretend for who? If Allah sees all that you do, that lets me know that most people don't know God real, let alone believe that he is. Even if you say you believe God is real, okay, keep walking till you know he is, bitch. Because I'm going to tell you this one thing. Ain't nobody coming for you like he going to come for you. Okay? Whoever he uses to do what it is you do. What do people say? Shit, a motherfucking stranger will bless you before your own family. People you know every day. Shit, this motherfucker helped me. I ain't even know this. Because that's God working through a man. Just working through him. And gone head the fuck on. He might turn back into a raggedy motherfucker. Oh, you know. Kind of shit. But he ain't real. Well, okay. God ain't real. And just deal with your family and see how you see how that work out. I bet you won't get in their ass. And they're gonna keep doing nothing for your motherfucker. You can bet your ass on that shit. I appreciate it. I guess it's something to do, so I give me some shit going on. Alright, ladies. Be careful. Sure thing. Everybody just out there fucking man. When I say out there man, and you can just see it just as plain as motherfucking day. And be scrambling like motherfucking roaches when the motherfucking lights come on, honey. And I ain't never got the time. Did somebody say dominoes kind of shit? Distribution of wealth. Where is it at, bitch? For real. Where is this distribution of wealth at? Where the money at? Like, real talk, where's the money at? And quit playing. With everybody at this fucking point. Fucking Domino's ass shit. When I say I don't trust nobody, I really don't. I really don't. The worst thing you could do to a Virgo or a Capricorn is to stab him in the back. Because you're not going to be able to get shit off. They see you and they're not letting up. They can't unsee it. That's why I said Capricorns are good from going from one side to the other side of the family because y'all got a problem with that shit. But shit be like, look, I ain't about to keep on because y'all going to turn up. Same with Virgos. Could be an earth sign thing. I do not know. But bitch, let me tell you. You're not about to seven the swords me. You're not about to do shit. Just stop. Just stop. You know? Shit ain't what you think it is. I already done told you what the fuck it is. I already done told you the secrets that lies within certain family. I done told you that. Some of y'all dealing with this shit. I told you what the fuck it is. You can deal with it or you can't. I'm just not dealing. You can have a whole situation where you got a family member that's, uh, you got nephews, nieces, and all that shit, and the father or the mother of those nephews and nieces don't like you doing spell work on you, doing all kind of shit to you. I'm not fucking, I love you. Not fucking with her. Now you got some instances where nieces and nephews will cut your throat for their mama. Just because she their mama. You could have treated them better, had better character, integrity, kept your word, all that shit. That shit don't matter. A motherfucker got to be very strong in their relationship with their creator to say, I'm not going to be found doing what the fuck y'all doing. And I'm going to get the fuck out of here. The book stops here like a motherfucker. Okay? And you got some mothers and fathers that's so fucked up from just life in general. 
Like, if they could do you like this, they would, but they can't articulate it because they're so fucked up. But they so glad that you at least see that this ain't the way to go. Internally, very rare are they going to say it outwardly to confirm or affirm you. Because it's always a keep the party going, make it like it's nothing. Kind of, no, no. I keep telling black people in particular that nasty ass rug. Let's go. And that's worldwide black people. That nasty ass rug, especially America. That nasty ass rug, you going to keep on. And ain't going to be no room left up under that bitch. Pick that bitch up and just clean up whatever under there. No, 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 no. You going to keep lifting it up, sleep, 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 it. lifting up, sleep, 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 it. Okay, bitch. You ain't going to shoot the messenger this time. I bet you that shit. Ain't nothing left to do. It's nothing left to do but heal from the shit that you were doing. Or the shit that was done to you. Ain't nothing left to do. I don't understand where people get into all of this witchery and witchcraft and this envy and all this old weird ass shit. Bitch, once life presents you with a certain amount of obstacles, ain't shit left to do but clean up. It definitely ain't to pick up more shit to cause more shit to happen. You gotta be somewhat retarded, for real. Hello, somebody. And ain't nobody the age of Methuselah. Whether you done did that much shit where you just did, you just don't even know no more. No, nah, you been doing too much. That's why your ass don't even know no more. When you shouldn't have never did shit at all. You had enough shit going on to just deal with the shit going on between you and whoever you pushed out of your body or whoever you slept with every motherfucking night. Or the lack thereof kind of shit. Depends. No fucking way. It's no fucking way. Exactly. Stinky coochies. Motherfuckers spending all their time with this shit. Man, you're going to get sick. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You're going to get sick. Sometimes you can't catch the flu. You know, once you catch the flu and you feel them symptoms come, coming, I'm about to go tell you, take some, hurry up, do that. Let me tell you the secret to that shit. If you feel yourself about to come down with something, if you got a taste for something, I don't give a fuck what it is. This is some alchemy shit. I don't give a fuck what it is. If you feel yourself about to come down with like a flu or something, you know how it get you. Oh, my throat, shit happening. Well, oh, like I'm kind of down with something. If some say go get an icy, go get that motherfucking icy if you got a taste for it. If that motherfucker will heal you better than you going to get some Theraflu. If you take the Theraflu, Theraflu or whatever you take that's so-called for flu, that shit going to act like a flu shot and give you the flu. That's on God. Hello, somebody. I'm giving you secrets. Take them. I wouldn't give a fuck what it is. Damn. It's, if it's, I got a taste full of Snickers. Even though you feeling sick, go get that motherfucking Snickers. Damn, man. I'm coming down with some shit. But if some say, damn, I'll taste for some ice cream. Whatever you got a taste for when you're fit, when you're on the brink of about to come down with something that you know going to take you out the game for a minute and you can't afford it, go get that shit. That shit will have a better medicinal effect and you can take care of whatever symptom that you have that next morning. You can start nursing it slowly with other shit. Lemons in your water, licking some salt, gargling with some sea salt water. I'm trying to tell y'all, take a little bit of honey, put it on your tongue. Lubricate your throat. It's different shit that you can do. But once you coming down with it, and you feel like, uh, I'm about to go get me some NyQuil or something like that. Oh, you about to, bitch, that shit gonna put you down. You ain't about to be cured from nothing, bitch. You about to lay it down, bitch. I'm trying to tell you, you in the house like a motherfucker. Okay. That's in America, I know for sure. I don't know why it's like that. But I do know, alchemical-wise, a lot of shit can heal you that don't come in a pharmacy section or a medicine aisle. It just depends on what you got a taste for at the time that shit come upon you. 
go get that shit. Even if it's a hot coffee where they say creamer and all that shit, it cause extra phlegm bullshit. It's been plenty of days. I done, honey, I need some coffee. And all symptoms of any kind of sickness, because sometimes it ain't that. It's a bitch shooting. And you need to get out of that uh, assimilation of I'm coming down with something. Now I'm going to get this to affirm what I'm feeling, which is something that will cure what you're feeling. Well, that shit about to put you down. NyQuil Therapy, all that shit. That's some shit you get when ain't nothing. It's, it's something naturally occurring and you sick. Because uh, you done touched a little kid or something. That, listen, and now you just got it like a motherfucker. Okay, you got it. Now go on and get you some therapy with some NyQuil. But you all of a sudden feeling that shit. Don't affirm that shit by going to get no motherfucking medicine. Get whatever you've got a taste for. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was some Funyuns. Hello, somebody. Americans I'm talking to. It may work in your country, honey. I do not know. Big wheel keep on turning, don't it? And everything been everything. And one been one, okay? And thread been thread. Like a motherfucker. Awakening. A lot of people. They're causing... Why do you have to go through a tower in order to get awakened? When somebody constantly telling you, hello, somebody, that's your own fault. You're a materialistic junkie and earth signs, especially Capricorns, got to be careful with that shit. You'll get your motherfucking self. And one thing about Capricorns, Capricorns can't do prison. I don't know how any motherfucking Capricorn sitting in prison right now, bitch, honey, they going through it because they just can't. This wealth card keep coming up. Some of y'all just going to be working from home way, making money, trying to make the world a better place. Because Big Wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. What was Proud Mary? Mary Jane, bitch, what you think it is? Some lady kind of shit? No. You're not going to make me. Why do you call marijuana dope? Who the fuck is doing this? It's not dope. It's a herb from the earth that God created. Just like the coca leaf, bitch. They about to wake up out of these love spells. Poison may be involved. That's why I said you feel like you're coming down with some symptoms. You better get out that assimilation because it could be somebody doing some shit till you put something in your food or trying to put a love spell on you. You're coming down with it because they so concentrated. Oh, motherfucking. Just imagine this ain't awakening, but a bitch that got a concentrated effort on you going to be her man. You going to do it that way. You going to do it this way. And even sometimes it's just people. Nowadays, love spell is just somebody that wants you up under them. Attachment issues, but then when you up under them, they don't want it no more. Just like the bitch that you buy shit, but now you ain't got nothing in hand. You just as yourself is a turn off to her because this is when the spell work start going wicky wacky because bitch ain't in it for love, she in it for money and attachment issues. Capricorns got to be real careful with that money shit because y'all power statement, one of y'all, two of y'all power statements, I control, I use. Virgo, got to be careful with being used because I serve. What the fuck you going to do with that? But end up a nigga bitch doing everything. And you think you writing exactly because you serving your man, but he a whole ass user and he can have you up under a motherfucking love spell where you the slave and he the master on some Honey, Seely, and Mister shit. Next thing you know, you isolated from your family. You just serving him up. But he ain't really doing nothing for you, kind of shit. And so you can see, you see how that can go wrong with a Virgo and Capricorn in a union. You use, I serve. I know the fuck you lying. Prepare to get a text message or important email that's going to awaken you. It could be a tower situation. I don't know. Yeah, Capricorn, yo ass, you know what the fuck. Don't be looking at me like that crazy boy here, motherfucker. I control all you. That shit can go wrong as fuck. To a Virgo and a Capricorn. Even in a friendship, I control all you. You serve. Excuse me? Queen of Wands energy. Some of y'all Queen of Wands cross watching because you saw Capricorn. Y'all love that Capricorn man, don't y'all? Yeah. Motherfucker, I control, I use. 
the fuck? What the fuck you looking at me for, motherfucker? A steal? I said what I said. You can use people. We use people every day. That ain't shit. It's in the misuse. It could go wrong. I ain't say it did. I ain't say it had to. Said it could. Don't you want to know? So you don't fall into that trap or that snare? That's the whole point of tarot, for real. If you control you use, that can go wrong. Especially with a Virgo. I ain't going to keep saying that shit. It could go wrong with anybody. But it also could go right for a Capricorn man because you ain't going to allow yourself to be used or controlled by no woman. So it probably ain't a lot of homosexual by default Capricorn men. Because you're not about to use me. You're not about to control me. You're just not. I'm cut this way. Can't kind of shit. Baby, no baby. I call the shots. Can't kind of shit. That ain't the easiest sign to be married to or have a child by Capricorns. Men. Because you're not about to make them into no punk. You can forget that shit. And they ain't never hurt you. Which is also would be a turn on for a woman. Like, damn, I like this motherfucker. But it could go wrong if they an abuser type. Especially motherfucker that get into this kind of shit. Sex and money magic. Man, you really in a pickle, ain't you? Now you ready to knock this nigga in the head. This is a dark motherfucker. I'm about to get rid of this motherfucker kind of shit. Why'd I do that Oshun spell? This is what I brought in kind of shit. Like, no, he ain't that fucked up. He just got fucked up shit going on. He don't know why he keep doing that. Final judgment in a justice situation. Somebody coming. I don't know, honey. Somebody coming and somebody going. Somebody said, uh, somebody said, shit, I'm coming. Some of y'all may be cross-watching for a Capricorn, get rid of a weak nigga and a Capricorn coming in. Or getting rid of a, a, a weak man, period. And y'all got another one coming in, a divine man. This is a punk right here, you know. This was Capricorn when I was saying, talk to the hand, get the fuck out of here. If you think, bitch, I do this to look like I'm non-manly before I actually stand some shit. And you constantly call yourself punking me. That the fuck ain't gonna happen, bitch. I'm in control, can shit. They Janet Jackson out this bitch with the man virgin. I'm coming. Y'all got one going. Now, this ain't Capricorn no more, but it could be, but I don't think so. On the man's side, it's a bitch-made motherfucker. Fuck you too, girl. But you got a real man coming in. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all don't know how to fix it. Some of y'all may be in some y'all don't know how to fix it. Y'all love them. Some Queen of Wands energy. They make you feel like this. You can't bust a move because they're going to bust you in your head. Can't it shit? This could be a Virgo. You can't say shit. Virgo's good for keeping it under wraps like because we love our privacy. But if you if you too controlling, bitch, don't tell me how to do it. And then we'll shut down on you. You know, that's how Virgos work. Tell the truth. I already know how to act. I'm not like them other women that you need to be controlling. Okay? So, you just overly applying pressure is hurting me. So, now, I'll shut down on you. Now, you'll be feeling like this don't know what to do with me. Because she not herself, this and that. Well, you keep applying pressure where pressure isn't needing to be applied. I'm a private person, naturally. You don't need to tell me, don't tell nobody. You don't need to tell me what I ain't going to do to you. Am I doing it? No, you got me confused with them hoes. And when you say that, then it's, uh, there you go. No, it's real. You getting your archetypes or your personas mixed up. Maybe some women you've dealt with in the past. Maybe some bitches you stepping out on me with need to be controlled so that I don't find out what you doing. Or they was just in that type of a situation and you felt the need that you needed to be in control so you like that kind of bitch that you got to tame and control. I'm not that type of woman. I don't need your taming or controlling. I know how to fucking act. I have a self-check system as a Virgo female. If I get out of pocket, bitch, it's because you was doing way too much, motherfucker. And it may not be no coming back from this shit. However, if I retreat in and shut down and you can't get to me, you did too much. And I can't take it no more. And I love you, but motherfucker, you is pushing, bitch. 
When it comes to a Capricorn man, they too much. Sometimes to certain feminine energies. Back up kind of shit before I go nuts. I love you, but I'm not here to be your punching bag. And I don't want you to have to step out on me to punch another bitch to feel like you in control. You out of control. Kind of shit. You all be in the house like this. Don't know what. You don't want to move too much because you know the motherfucker do got the power to, you know what I'm saying? They do. Capricorns ain't no hoe. No, the man, shit, bitch. Listen, you be like, shit, do I want to move? I know I just said that to this nigga, but I know this nigga will knock my head off, candy shit, because now he see me as the motherfucker he been, candy shit. Hello, somebody. Some of y'all must get Capricorn. Man, ooh, honey, baby. I ain't never dating another Capricorn man. I don't want nothing to do with him. After a while, it'll be like this. Once they realize they done fucked up and you ain't like that, it's just them accepting the fact that you're just not that woman. You're more easy like Sunday morning where you don't have to be. So then the control is kind of channeled in a more beautiful, sensual way. The beauty in Capricorn and men are they stable energies, just like Taurus. But that's earth sign energies anyway. But sometimes motherfuckers take for granted that you're the most stable in whatever tribe you're in and then where you're gone everybody loses stability and looking around for you and you're nowhere to be found no more especially like i said a capricorn or virgo taurus rules possession they got to work on their attachment issues to people places and things virgos are mutable capricorns go in the shell somewhat like cancers once you turn them off it's hard to turn them back on they'll turn into this you know Virgos is the same way. Get gone on your ass. You, when Beyonce said in that song, don't hurt yourself, watch me hop on the next dick boy. She was not playing with Jay-Z's ass. No. Real life. This Photoshop. No. Lyrics. They got paid. Okay, that's about it. And that was real, I'm sure, for their bank account. The fuck? Shit, real as fuck with a Virgo. A Virgo not about to keep on. A Virgo gonna set seal on your motherfucking ass. Because they already see where this going. And they don't have the endurance, especially depending on their age. If they already been through it with a slew of dummies. They're not about to be. And the men low-key operate the same too. And they would say, we ghosters kind of shit. Oh, no, the fuck we ain't. We're endurers, but we ain't about to keep enduring that shit, bitch. I got a little ways to go. If I want to make it to this ripe old age kind of shit, that don't mean that I don't have the wisdom that I'll have. You know, when I turn this ripe old age, I'll just be more wise. But I see this ain't going nowhere, and I don't have the stamina to keep doing this. You're not changing, and I'm not about to keep repeating myself. I didn't do it. It wasn't me, honey. Do I got to go shaggy on these niggas with Scooby-Doo? It wasn't me. Ain't do it. You ain't gonna keep taking that shit out on me. You're just not, buddy. And you can forget that, Jack. The candles here. Then it's Capricorns. Capricorns don't like to let go. If they want a woman, they won't let her go. But she be done. And they steadily be, be, talking about be patient and be steadily coming, but never get there. And then when the woman do like this, like, nigga, go the fuck here, on And literally move on. Here they go. I control you. No, the fuck you don't. You are a maniac, nigga. And get off my arm. You holding it too tightly, can't it, you? For real, man. These niggas is busted with that shit. Especially, you cannot handle certain feminine energies too roughly. You just can't. A Virgo gonna set sail on your motherfucking ass. It's some water signs that can handle some shit more than a Virgo when it comes to a man and a woman. It just is. They a different cut. But once you catch the beat, bitch, you ain't gonna never want to let go. You really ain't. Because it it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Kinda, you can kind of live your life on some... Virgo is the type of woman that if you married a Virgo woman, you would literally be the dude in this clique that's like this. Never no complaints. 
And then that's when you get envy to stir up to it. Oh, nigga, they ain't never complaining about his wife. Well, don't worry about it, nigga. I'm listening to y'all. Saying, you know, at least give us some advice, kind of shit. But I don't need to complain about it because ain't shit going on. She ain't doing shit. She man her business, basically. I'm here with y'all. They phone ringing, and she go with this shit. There's ain't candy shit. For real. A Virgo wife will make a man either think she... I'm talking about out the gate. Just say you're first married, this new. He's trying to get a feel for you still as a wife, not just a girlfriend. She the type of person that either make him second guess his manhood. Is she with a woman or something? Can of shit. Or is she cheating? Because she don't call and go through the phone and all the stuff that women do. Virgo's not about to get into that. We already know our mind will take us on a trip. And if we find something, the trip going to take us on the surfboard and we going to get the fuck out of there and go establish ourselves somewhere else because we ain't never about to do this. Now, if we love you, you pushing, you pushing, you pushing to just dog us because we ain't doing shit. The Virgo wife, I'm going to get my hair done. If you pull up to the hair salon, that's where she at. I'm um I'm over here at Chipotle on such, 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 such. You pull up over there, that's where she at. I'm over here over my auntie house. So, so, so. You go over there, that's where she at. And I'm pretty sure a lot of men done did that today, Virgo women. And she always there. It's like, damn, man, I can't catch. Because you do was Listen. When a woman tell you I'm not them hoes, it's not a mind fucker. She's not playing with you. She's really not. Those that have said it and were just like them, oh, well, that was for you to find out then, wasn't it? However, if you see that this woman is reliable and she ain't showing no signs of fraudulence, why keep on? She's not them. You got a good one. Now you're sabotaging something real, can't she? Like, I'm just, Virgo's not about to deal with certain dumb shit. We just not. Mm -mm. I serve. I serve. Imagine that shit. I serve. That means all day, all night, Bobby Brown. Whether I'm at work or whether I'm a mother. Whether I'm a friend or whether I'm a lover. Whether I'm just a stranger in the street giving you a good word or you ask me for some change and I got it, I'm going to give it to you. I serve. It don't turn off. But, bitch, I do. Okay? And now I'm turned off by you. And I'm out of here, kind of shit. Because you just like all them other motherfuckers I done made famous, kind of shit. Serving them. Why they kick me up my ass and don't, I ain't supposed to get mad or speak up for myself, or say, you know, you just applying a little bit too pre much pressure. My feet hurt, God forbid you say that, Virgo. Virgos would be like this, and steadily serving. You think not? You are out of your fucking mind. Why do you think they up and leave and cut motherfuckers off, and when they say they done, they not playing? And the Virgo love run really deep when it comes to family. They not worse as Capricorn as far as Capricorns are Capricorns are addicted to the nostalgia, the memory of. I don't know why. Virgos ain't like that. It's just these my motherfucking people. Virgos that pity me. I can talk to her like that, but bitch, shut up. This not your business kind of shit. However, when Virgo don't want to talk to you no more and they don't give a fuck how a motherfucker talks to you. You done lost a Virgo. And some people that are cool with Virgos or came up with them as far as grew up with them, know that shit. And they play it accordingly, which is also some dog shit. It is. You're a manipulator. You see that I'm okay, she cool, she cool. That's another thing I said. I swear I said this earlier to my ancestors and they bringing it right back. I said, motherfuckers do Virgos so fucked up because... Virgos don't take a lot to, you don't need to get a Virgo a lot. As a man, and that'll also fuck with a man. He bang you all this shit, and all you want is a smoothie kind of shit. Like, oh, thank you. Did you get the smoothie kind of shit? He bring you a Rolex. He supposed to bring you a Rolex. You didn't know about the Rolex. You just wanted the smoothie. He was so happy about the Rolex, he forgot the smoothie. Virgo would look at the Rolex and be like, oh, this nice, baby. Thank you. Did you get this? Did you get my smoothie? If you didn't, oh man, that Rolex don't mean shit, bro. 
Uh, it's just what it is. Does that sound ungrateful? It's not. I don't think so. You know, thank you for this, but damn, I wanted this oldie kind of shit. Why you? And if he ain't looking like he going back out to get it, oh man, that's going to really be, you be like, God damn, you better call somebody. You better call somebody. I'm trying to say Tyrone or somebody. They just keep on. They try to put Virgos in these situations because Virgos don't require much. Virgo is the least expensive friend you can have. Virgo will turn some shit. Man, listen. Shit, bitch. What? You ain't got no money? Oh, but you got to go out somewhere? Oh, Virgo about to turn, honey, let me tell you something. A $5 outfit into shit that look like goddamn, it costs 500 Mother going to be asking, where she get that at? And she be the cut her rip in here, do some shit so that she can look, you know. But she ain't about to be going through all that. Okay, you can forget that. This is Virgo. It's, I need toilet tissue, toothpaste. I gotta replenish my camera. I ain't got nothing to wear to that shit. I'm about to put this shit on to yellow, the orange pants, put on some cute shoes, go to the party, and everybody like, you look cute. You hear me? <laughs> Virgo. It's just true. So I guess people try to keep Virgos away from other people because Virgos are, Virgos is true blues. I don't give a fuck. And if a man find a woman Virgo, bitch, you don't want the lottery. I ain't capping to you. I ain't, and I ain't saying that just because I'm a Virgo woman. I'm really not. Even though I understand how we think for real. <laughs> Whole ass fools and we funny as fuck. And we're going to stay prayed up and stay sending evil back to people that's doing something to men. When Virgo get that man, bitch, bitch, let me tell you something. You, you coming for mine. You better, you, you got, you, what you going to do? You going to come with all you got, bitch? Because, bitch, I'm telling you, especially when I know I'm married to him, this shit is real. Ain't no date, no on and off, nigga. You showing consistency, bitch? Oh, bitch. For a long time, eight months with a Virgo F consistency, you doing good. Three years, oh, I'm about to cut this nigga throat. About my man kind of shit. Or a bitch, it don't matter. And I was like that with whoever I was dating. I didn't give a fuck or marry. I didn't give a fuck who had what to say about it. They up under my care. And I was raised like that by my mother. You do your job until the bitter end. Mm-hmm. You ain't about to get no motherfucking liars. Maybe that's what y'all paranoid about. No, you ain't about to get that. You about to get this. Working. I serve, bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck what I'm doing. I bet you I'm working on something. Proactive. Okay? And they ain't talking skin cream. Hello, somebody? My mother raised me like that. Until the job is done, don't get up from the motherfucking table. Nina Simone said, get up when love is no longer being served. My mother's teaching was, if you marry a man, be a wife all the way to the bitter end. I don't care if he's not a husband to you. Because once you get out of that situation, it's going to be well with your soul and you squared up with God as far as what you was responsible to uphold within that union. I'm at the old school. So niggas still got served until I saw the truth of them. And then, bitch, I ain't doing nothing. And if you shoot some evil towards me because I no longer want to be with your ass, bitch, I'm going to shoot it right back. Lying. Who's lying? You know? It's these liars. These malicious bitches stealing your ideas. Cold-hearted, deceitful, sarcastic, overbearing, defensive, backbiters, narrow-minded, spreads rumors, pretends to be confidants and an ally, but ain't. Cancel plans. Man, even if you're dealing with that type of shit, if she's doing that to women, you definitely don't want her. You got to do your homework on people. You really do. And for real, for real, you can learn a lot about a person on how they post on social media or their platform. You really can. Of course, you can't tell all because the camera ain't always rolling, but nowadays, kind of shit, you know... <laughs> Like somebody always watching, it shouldn't be. It ain't nobody's business, but since y'all watching, kind of shit. You know, I'm some Virgo shit. Since you watching, but I'm knowing, you know. Sure, yeah, 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 I'm a liar.
music not to my ears, bitch. Give Virgo some music, a diffuser with some lavender coming out that motherfucker, a good sex life. You ain't gonna have no problem on no Virgo, mate. Nope. You just not. If you, if you got a problem out of a Virgo woman, somebody ain't fucking with her. And you love her, somebody fucking with her. And you need to figure out who. Because you about to lose a gem. If she like this, you ain't doing your job as a man protecting your woman. Even on a psychological level. <laughs> or you could be the one doing it kind of shit. Or it could be a whole hot cool situation of somebody doing it to both of y'all. But y'all motherfucker better look into it kind of shit. Bitch, what? But you just call it quits or get the blame. Justice for some of y'all on something. I don't know. Return to sender. It keeps coming up. Y'all have all these return to senders that happen successfully. Somebody want to make you their wife and their baby's mama. And Capricorn's real calculated. But motherfucker, let me tell you something. If we Bonnie and Clyde or whatever the fuck we doing, bag the bag or whatever, you got to let me in on some of your calculations, motherfucker, so I can let you know so we won't be out in the cold because you calculated wrong and you don't want to be told nothing because you control. I'm a Virgo, motherfucker. I think you need to let me in on the budget kind of shit because Virgos know how to make a dollar out of 15 cents, bitch. We gonna make it do what it do, baby. You can believe, listen, know that. Fuck believing. Know that shit. Virgo sitting back like, what? You know we is. Be sitting in a chair like this and got the motherfucker out of thrift store for $3. Kind of shit. But look better than that bitch shit. Going shabby chic on you hoes. Kind of situation. And feeling like this. Who is you to come in my house and tell me it ain't good enough, bitch? And I think I did quite an excellent job, kind of shit. And my child seems to be very happy. Like, what? Justice on top of justice on top of justice, you win because you're aware. Like, oh, so if I wasn't aware, you're just going to keep working? You see that? So if you ain't returning back to sender, they could just keep working on you. And because you're not returning it back, or doing anything proactive to protect your energy, you end up frozen and disconnected within a union. So now you separated, but you in the same house and don't know why. Well, honey, let me tell you something. You stop praying, at least, can it shit? Fuck you mean, why? Because they ain't going to stop shooting. They just keep working. If it's working, you know. Awesome, bitch. I know you land. No, I ain't. <laughs> I'm not. Watch as well, so is Prack. It ain't hard. Now y'all got young bitches coming after some of the Capricorn men. Got men coming after you. I don't think that's going to happen. A gay Capricorn man is a rare gem. I'm trying to tell you. Because they are manly men. They just is. A femme, man, I need a head pay dirt like a motherfucker. Shit. And they going to be just on their ass like this. I control. They going to be giving him his purse and shit. You better know that shit. Not a Virgo, though. No, no, no. You going to have something. You ain't going to have nobody. You ain't going to have nobody because you ain't about to go through that. You may have to do that with a fire sign. But you ain't about to get that. The Virgo, you're not about to... Uh -uh. Virgo gonna be looking at your ass like this. This motherfucker got me fucked up. And may not... Thank, listen, we'll catch our own face because sometimes we be having a resting bitch face and don't know it. But when we catch ourselves, we go into kind of like just enjoying the vibe around but see everything and everybody that's on some motherfucking trash. You think you calculating, bitch. We smell too much conflict. We getting up out of there. We getting up out of there. And we don't care how much... We are highly sexual beings as Virgos, but we'll be all right. I mean, what you gonna do? Because they ain't about to deal with that shit. Especially when I see a slew of bitches coming and this motherfucker can't control his lower nature from what it seems. Kind of shit. You ain't got to be cheating on no Virgo. You get to be crazy. Maybe when they was younger, they was on some don't give up. Or go ahead out there and do whatever you do because I understand you young. Real understanding, Candy kind of shit. It's a vibe. I'm trying to tell you. 
You get a Virgo woman, you get a vibe for sure. Capricorn man, you get a control freak, honey, that uses people on the good side and the bad side. If they use you and they a good motherfucker, you ain't going to be mad that they did because you're going to get some return on whatever it is they doing. It's kind of like, yeah, a Capricorn that got a good heart, fuck the this on the Three of Swords. A Capricorn that got a good ass heart and use money appropriately and use their power uh, appropriately and control shit and know what shit's going and ain't twisted up, ain't fucked up, got a genuine good ass heart like a philanthropist type motherfucker, like a Jim Carrey kind of motherfucker that's a Capricorn. Shit, you gonna give them your bag because you know they gonna handle it. Here, take the money. They gonna do what they gotta do. They gonna do it right. Because they, they kind of work like Virgos on the budgeting side. On the, oh, they not about to be overspending on all can and all. They know how to make it look good without spending a whole lot of it. And it's a Virgo when you bring her a Rolex, but she wanted the smoothie. <laughs> it's, she thinking about shit, she just go here to go get it. Because she ain't about to call them the delivery. Because that's going to be a delivery fee to fuck around and be more than the smoothie. Or do I got to go on my car? Because I don't really feel like it. When a Virgo don't feel like it, when they feeling like this, because they had their days where they get hit or motherfucker doing shit to them or they just tired from all the service work and shit. If they say, give me a smoothie and you know goddamn well, that motherfucker don't never ask you for shit because they can pretty much go up and get it or got it worked out or they know their friend or whatever. If they got any kind of shit, gonna get it. They ain't gonna ask their man though they busy and shit. Especially if it's a Capricorn. But if she asks you for something small like that, a lip, Arnold Palmer. She got a taste for something. Honey, let me tell you something. If you get it along with the Rolex, oh, shit, nigga, you set for about, you, you good. You good for a long time. Something that small. Fuck the Rolex. The smoothie is what made your ride smooth for at least six months, candy shit. Till she wants some other shit. She got a taste for it. It's going to make her happy as a lark that day. Or for six months, candy shit. Just keep the iced coffees coming, candy shit. And she's happy as fuck. You think it's a game? It's not. Virgo women are so fucking affordable. Honey, let me tell you. <laughs> For real. Like, Damn, I got all this motherfucking money left over. Which will make a nigga look at the bitches he been fucking with. Like, this the bitch. Should have been with the fat girl all along. The chunky Virgo that let her weight go. Because she don't give a fuck no more, candy shit. Honey, baby, let me tell you something. Who know I'm telling the truth? That's a Virgo. Tell the truth. Virgos be knowing Virgos better than anybody. Virgos know Virgos. They really do. September Virgos. August Virgos. They got they got some characteristics and traits. This is a motherfucking September Virgos. Them September Virgos get different. They really do. Because them August Virgos be having a little bit of King of Bones in them or Queen of Bones. You know, a little fiery. You know? Which could sometimes, to me, be their tower. You know? For real. Because this impulsivity is pop off. Man, damn, I should have said that. And Virgos is reflective. You know, gotta keep it cool, baby. This is for the cool and you, bitch. Because I ain't never about to be looking stupid out here in these streets. I catch a tower at home. To figure out I did some old stupid shit, but they kind of calculate calculating like a Capricorn, but not in a Capricorn way at all. They'll tell you what the fuck going on. Capricorn ain't gonna say shit. They just be sitting up there with their own playbook. I just about to go out of control, bitch. Make a great coach, kind of shit. Honey, make a great motivational speaker with like a, a life coach, kind of shit, sports coach, whatever it case, honey. Wherever control is needed, honey. Motherfucking pilot, honey. Listen, Uber driver, bitch. Anything where they can control. A business owner, honey. They got to control something. And they love having, they love being in a family type dynamic. So I'm sure it's, Capricorn's going to get married. If you get a Capricorn that don't want to get married, something ain't right. A Capricorn man. At a certain age, they want to bring it in, settle down, then got the time, kind of shit. Because this is how this about to work out. I'm playing this. This going to go like that. 
Damn, nigga, what you gonna tell me? You think you done got you? Oh, he is so stable and this and that. And a bottom just fall out that motherfucker because he ain't dealt with his internal warfare because he was too busy calculating his materialism wins. Like, nigga, listen. It's more to life than where you live at. <laughs> like where you live at. Your fucking temple, nigga. These temples, this temple, nigga. <sighs> All right, y'all. If you feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.